Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to help you out here um, and take a look at this first. Those of you that are looking up here and you're understanding, all right, what are we doing? How are we getting these radical, these roots? Well, what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is we practice taking the root of numbers that we knew. The square root of four is two, meaning two times itself gives us four. So square root of nine is three. The square root of 16 is four. The square root of 20 is five. And the square root of 25, oh, the square root of 20, sorry. The square root of 20, we don't know what that is, and but we know the square root of five is five, right? So my answer, if you guys look at your integers, there's no integer, that means whole number that's between four and five, right? So I need to figure out what is the square root of 20, right? Um, I know it's going to be somewhere between 4 and 5. Now, what I can do is a certain set of rules, okay? And this is what I just need you guys to agree upon. I can rewrite the square root of 20 as 4 times 5. Mathematically, is that equivalent? If you guys think about this, 4 times 5 equals 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so does it matter if I rewrite it like that or not? No, no it doesn't. The next thing you guys might want to disagree with me is... I say that the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 is still equal to the square root of 20, meaning you can multiply square roots and and uh, whatever their answer is, is still going to be under your uh, square root called your radicand. Everybody agree with this? <laughs> Let's take a look at square root of 36, okay? I could rewrite square root of 36 as square root of 9 times square root, I'm sorry, I could rewrite it as square root of 9 times square root of 4, right? And then if I follow this rule, I could say that is the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. No, sorry. That's the square root of 9 times the square root of 4. Right? I'm following this process. What's the square root of 9? 3. What's the square root of 2? 4. 2. 2. Sorry, I said the wrong thing? Yeah. Sorry. Well, anyways, if you guys notice, the square root of 36, yeah, is equal to 6. Right? The square root of 9 times the square root of 4 is still equal to 6, all right? So yes, you can separate it like this. Now, do I know what the square root of 5 is? No. The square root of 5 is not one of those answers, right? The square root of 5, we only go up to 4, then 9. But do I know what the square root of 4 is? Yeah, it's 2. So therefore, your answer for number 1 is going to be 2 radical 5. That's it. Okay. Amen. Amen.